What's up, you two? And I'm bringing you the second episode of Pokemon Ash Gray. And do as you know, I will sometimes make hand gestures, as that's, and you'll see it a little bit of it. I normally do that. It's just kind of how I bend when I've talked. And so we're going to continue on. Now, I do want to show I did often just catch one therapy. And now I just let you know I didn't do any training with it yet. So we're going to start doing some training. So uh, training montage will be started in 5, 4, 3, 2, Okay, we are back after some quick training, and we didn't do too much, we just had to do a little bit. I wanted to bring up Bugsy up to a little bit higher level, about the same level as these guys are at the current level. And we, of course, you'll see at the end of the training of he did level, he did evolve. Now, he will evolve fully. I do, like, try, sometimes I really hate skipping evolutions, but some, with Metapod, with Caterpie being such a quick evolution, it's not like I'm, it's easy to do during train grinding. And that's something that ended up happening. We are going to continue on with the Viridian Forest. We are going to continue on through. Now, of course, it's going to be sped up. Yeah, I do was holding the speed up button through the emulator. And I'm going to say it's going to be sped up a little bit further than that was at that point. As it's going, I don't really want it to be too long. It was only meant, it was about three minutes. So I don't even want it to be that. It's probably going to be hopefully down to a minute quick montage uh, training. Is what I would like to do now I don't want to do it for all the training but some of the training like a quick level like that too like off screen I probably that's what I'm gonna be doing exactly that I'm trying to avoid levels if that evolves of course if that ends up being the case what I'm actually gonna do is back cancel the evolution and record the evolu the next level where I would get that evolution again I do want to do it that way as it's a little bit more fair so you guys can see the evolution as that's what I really want you guys to be able to see it. And I know I will, it's hard to really decide where do I want to put this webcam because I can either put it in the top list where you can't see the Pokemon's name, which would be a little bit of a surprise until you saw the Pokemon appear. Well, I think it actually shows up in the taxes though. It makes it a little bit more of a surprise. Otherwise, it would be blocking some blocking you the Pokemon itself or either by yours or mine. And I think it isn't too big of an issue. I might be putting it, maybe I could put it in the bottom right. Let me see how that looks and we'll find out. I want to say, really move it onto the window. Let's get into a quick battle. So I just had to speed that up. I want to see how much it covers. You wouldn't be able to see the experience and you wouldn't be able to see me do some of the other stuff right here. So I don't like that too much. I quickly move that all the way over here. I don't lose too much sight over there, but except for the tab, what will your Pokemon do? But you can see everything else. So I think I'll keep that actually. I think that's what I'm going to have. Ooh, except the tags. I don't see that. Now I'm going to just make it to this because it will be a little bit more of a surprise. I'm hoping that the sound does sound will cut off a little bit every so often just because I did that test and I didn't really do the test in game and this doesn't really keep um, playing the music if you click out which really kind of sucks and my same I know I'm marking this way I'm thinking the camera's that way my camera's kind of right there so sorry about that you know this is the first time facing a wheel that I actually got poisoned from at least with Bugsy. Oh look, Shedskin actually took effect. 
Because all the other times I didn't get poison, no matter throughout the training. I'm like, I placed a few Riedels there that were doing poison thing while I was hitting it head on. We're gonna heal out real quick, and then we're gonna face that trainer that we saw in that corner over there. I think that's the. I think that's the way we want to go. I want to say that's the Metapod. Might be the Metapod battle. Okay, greetings. I am addressing the Pokemon trainer who. Yep, comes from Palatown. That I found. Then I found you at last. I am Samurai. Let's have a Pokemon match and see who triumphs. I remember the like. It's I love. The episode where this is the Metapod battle. Like that's just funny. The Almighty Metapod battle. We're not gonna do that. I'm sorry. It's just no way I'm doing a Metapod battle here. Actually, I might set it out with the Metapod if the Metapod ends up having just Harden, and that will be cool. Because my Metapod actually has attack. It can do damage. And. It looks like Pinsir will survive more than one hit, which is pretty diff can be dangerous. Focus Energy miss messed up because it already had done. Wow, that was a crit right there. But Focus Energy, I believe, increases the crit ratio a little bit. So, and that's what I believe, what, if I remember correctly. Ooh, that, that static that might help out. Might be a clinch victory due to that static. It's not enough though. Being faster might help out a little bit more. And Vice Grip will go through for um, damage. Now can Metapod bring it in? Actually, that it's gonna be a Metapod battle now. <laughs> now it has to be one. <laughs> but since it's paralyzed, it's weak enough that actually it can go through. And Bugsy's gonna get a bunch of experience for that. Now, if Bugsy can survive against the Metapod that he has, now I wonder if it's only going to have Harden. That's the thing. That would be literally the best thing ever because that's exactly what it should have. If it wants to fight the bat, do the same kind of battle as it did in the anime, that's what it would have. Except Harden does damage against Pinsir, apparently, when does Vice Grip, which doesn't in the games, but you know. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a longer battle. I'm sorry about that ahead of time. Actually, you know, I'm going to be looking over here just to check uh, when you see me looking over to the right. What will be left for you? It would be an object of the time in the video so I can see where we have left. Is this thing actually has a move? Or, it ha or it's struggling? Nope, it has a move. I don't think it would survive before it can do enough damage to knock me out. So I'm not gonna do starting doing the Harden thing. Up oh, there it goes, right there. Cause that'll be just a waste of time. Bugsy will get to level 11 and it is going to evolve. Do you hear that buzzing? Bio got $96 for winning. What? Bugsy is evolving. Now, uh, Bugsy is the nickname I chose to use for it. It is a reference to the I want second gym in the First, the second Pokemon games and or Jotu series of the anim the show, which is why I chose that. It was kind of a reference to that. I love the fact that Ash never actually really nicknamed a Pokemon. Bugsy learned Stun Poor. I don't think it learned Confusion Time. I'll be just one pose quick. Get to the get to my cabin. We're gonna quickly heal out though, because even though Bugsy might be. Formidable. Oh look, there's a Beedrill. I guess I think I guess after that, all you might see is Beedrill, but we're gonna quickly heal. And that's a quick heal, and it's really nice that that happens to be right here. So let's go and get to the cabin. And we're gonna see another Beedrill, I'm assuming, because it should be a horde of Beedrill. I mean, this would be an easy way for us to get a B-Draw, but I don't really want I kinda wanna I kinda wanna make a team and beat the E4 with Ash's Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? I hope you can learn a lot less than love it. Learning that we don't escape almost cost us our lives. The other trainers from Palatine would never be so responsible. I had three matches of Palatine trainers. Those trainers really knew how to raise Pokemon. Though I lost, I have been 
training to face the next trainer on Palatine. But you proved to be only a novice. Now rest your Pokemon and leave me leave my cabin. Wait, um I beat him, so why and he's calling me a novice. I found an antidote. We'll take that antidote from him. But I think that clears the Beedrill issue. That all well, the Beedrill spawning. Yep, the back to regular spawning. It's mostly just so you can talk to him for a minute. But I'm like, um, there was no unbeatable event here. And to be fair, in next episode, it was his fault that that wheel even got away. Because if he didn't strat Ash well in that last second, Ash would have caught that, would have captured that Weedle. Actually, it would have been funny because Ash would have had a Beetle, a beat could have had a Beetle and a Butterfree. I do believe they intentionally didn't do that. That's what they had it that way because they didn't want to have both. I don't. I, I found it interesting that Cappy goes into Butterfree. I mean, I guess it's. I didn't understand that it's a Butterfly, but if you look at Butterfree and Venom and Venona, they look a lot like they would more likely evolve into each other. And I know it's been discussed in the past. I think actually it might have been originally choice. Uh, we're gonna defeat that Minipod uh, really easy. He's still a point time, actually. Oh, he wants to sound like that can't be. We're gonna send out Bird Jesus. By the way, I did find out I did spell it right, which was interesting. I actually didn't mess up. I should actually have been using this because Bird because uh, Bugsy's already been got to level 10, actually, level 11. So, Pidgey, uh, Bird Jesus slash Pidgeotto needs a little bit more training so he gets a little bit more levels up. And Sparky also needs some of that. Especially because we're going to be when we face Brock. That is going to be a training montage in itself. And I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing towards that because, yeah, quite yet. Uh, as Pikachu really can't face Brock. But I don't know if there's supposed to be a joke. It's going to play out differently. Like I said, I don't know how it's gonna play. I don't know if it's gonna play as okay. Well, you lose and you go and do something. Then Brock actually home you come effective against Pikachu's attack. So I don't know how it was gonna turn out, especially since it's not. And I really want to play blind, so I'm not looking. I've seen those videos pop up in my YouTube selection, but I don't want to look. No matter how much I want to look and see it and see what I'm doing. What's going with how far, how similar it is? I really want to keep it blind, just play through as much as I can. I still didn't switch Pokemon. Let me switch out now. I'll just leave because it's not a big deal in this battle. We're not really gonna focus on being continued training throughout here. So if we see a Pokemon in here, we're gonna battle it, of course. Oh look, that's actually the exit. Oh look, this is Box Dad. Here the city is gray. Color of stone. This town has also always been famous for stone. The name's Flint, and you're standing on some of my prop merchandise, young man. These rocks are pure, are pure city souvenir. Want to buy some? Nope. Don't tell me you're planning on challenging Brock the pure city gym leader. Haha. <laughs> you really think you're beat him? Haha. <laughs> Except. Okay, that's kind of screen. There was something there. Okay, I was gonna say, if this is very similar to what previously it looked like in the game, video, regular video games. Would I like to kill your Pokemon perfect health? Of course we would. We definitely want to do that. Thank you for rating. You're at. We restored your Pokemon to full health. But well, we hope to see you again. We're gonna run over. Okay, so it's slightly different. There's some slight differences. Of course, we're gonna take our money. We're gonna buy some potions. We're only gonna get four, which uh, is a little bit annoying, but we are gonna take a battle to Brock just to see how he is and see how strong he is. Of course, we are gonna have to switch back out Pokemon because, you know, Sparky probably isn't the best option. But actually, I think it's only Brock's in here. So, who goes there? My name is Brock. I am the pure of the pure city champ. This is your first gym battle, 
and that Pikachu, your Pokemon, your Pikachu is in its cute state. It can't win. Machine I have to accept every challenge, so let's get this over with. Boom, 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 boom. Oh wow, he only has Onyx. I'm surprised he doesn't have Geodude. Yeah, yeah, this definitely is under leveled here. <laughs> A little under leveled much. Bird Jesus will use Gust. It will crit in one hit. Oh, let's go. That would be funny. Actually, we should have Sand Attack. That actually might have been the best solution for that battle. Especially since Pidge got Bird Jesus, actually would have survived the hit. That actually would have been the best option. Uh, I'm gonna growl. It's actually really weakening my defenses, so. My heart, and it's worse than growl. It's worse than Tail Whip, so. Uh, that's bad. I'm pretty sure this does not do damage. Oh, wow, that actually worked out. Yeah, I was. Yeah, it's already paralyzed anyway. We're gonna lower this attack down as much as we can. I assume Sparky's not gonna survive. Wow, and it will go right through. Wow, actually, because of the one that attack can survive. So we'll get to do one more growl, hopefully, if it paralyzes out, so we can do it again. Because doing that's gonna be the best thing we can do. Yep. The next thing we're going to aim to do was actually would have been best to do the sand attack method. It sounds weird, but doing the sand attack method actually works. But we're gonna do harden. We're gonna increase our defenses and switch since it's a physical attacker with the with everything except for the hair. I believe that's a special attack, and that will be super effective, of course. So we're gonna quickly do some tackle and see how much, how little damage we do with that there. Like I said, I kind of knew what was gonna happen. I uh, come back. Stop. I don't want to hurt your Pokemon. Yeah, Peter, let's call this a draw. If I was out of Poke Uniform. But I lost against Leader Brock. Oh, it is probably one. But I will read it out. Yeah. Let's call this a draw. Your Pokemon aren't strong enough to pose a threat to me. Come back when you've gone. I think that's intentional. Like I said. Yep, it's intentional. It is meant to do that way. Come with me. I think, like I said, I think your Pokemon's gonna be, it's gonna do some weird stuff. You know, Pikachu's gonna magically become stronger and more powerful for no reason. Everyone loses sometime. Can't let that get you down. Brock is very good. His talents could take him much further than just being the local gym leader. But Brock has nine little brothers and sisters to take care of. So he had, could never leave town for her. regional championships. It's good for nothing for all left his family become a Pokemon trainer, and they never heard from him again. Talking about himself, because we all know that's Fl Flint's father. His heartbroken mother tried her best to hold things together, but sadly she passed away. Fox the only one that his little brothers and sisters have left. Hmm. Do you think you can beat him? Uh, I may just know a way that you can supercharge your Pikachu. This is the town's hydroelectric plant. Follow me. You should have bought a box house first, and then that. Uh, they will return to wheel the gen to generate electricity. I believe that it generate if generated some excess power at one time and it formed itself into a high energy ball. I'm sure this ball could give your Pikachu a power boost. Here, take this. The light bulb. If I put the light bulb on the point. With that light bulb, your Pikachu should have a shot at taking down bro. Good luck, kid. You'll need it. I love that it's like, oh, the light ball is gonna be the savior of Pikachu. Wasn't more the hell by a Pikachu. It raises to use a special attack. Um, really? Oh wait, no. I think Onyx is ground, so it's probably it's like rock ground, which means the oh, Pikachu won't. This light ball is not gonna do shit. But uh, and in spirit of it being similar, supposed to be similar to the hat, may I suspect this this Onyx. The second version of Onyx is going to be different at typing just to make it work. Actually, they think you'd be ready to challenge me, but I can tell you it's still enough. Gym as Jim Lee, although I must accept your challenge, let's get this over with. Let the match begin. Uh, I think, I don't know if the text changed at all. Okay, well, he still only has one. Wait, why does he have a Geodude now? Go, oh, bird, Jesus. Sand attack. Just lower its accuracy. 
much oh I was going for defensive which wouldn't matter if it's gonna make Pikachu really good because Pikachu is using a special attack which makes defense Carol not that effective but we are gonna keep doing sound attack I know it sounds mean to do this but it's the best method ever got a Pokemon that's higher level you just say attack it if it can survive a few hits same attack it lower its accuracy it, oh, I don't think it can miss like that kind of move. It does nothing but raise its defense up. And that's one of the big things that it just, yep, there it goes, it's starting to miss. Yep, okay, it will not go any lower, that's good. Oh, uh, the defense is as high as it possibly can. We're gonna see if BG got buried Jesus here can take it out. No, it won't. It'll take way too long. Let's not try that. Not one bit. So we're gonna see what this thing will do. I mean, its accuracy is shit. At best, it's maybe can hit once. We're gonna Thunder Wave just to paralyze it now. It's gonna slow down a little bit, increase the odds that it might not even hit. Yep, it can't even do. And we're gonna Thunder Shock. Yeah, it's still not really doing much of a change, anything. And this move is gonna harm me more. Electric Power has weakened. It's like, okay, well, I mean. It's not very effective in the first place, and it's gonna do that. Oh, I think I would survive if it does one more tackle. But it's paralyzed, like I said. I'm trying to rely on uh, it not critting me right now. Like I said, not critting me right now. You have seven potions. That should be enough to heal it out. We're gonna keep doing the Thunder Shock for the power. This battle actually is taking a lot longer than planned. But the Sand Attack are doing its job, allowing us to not really have to train too much for our Pikachu. I think if we had leveled up a little bit more towards its level, it would be a little bit easier to fight. We didn't do that. So for next episode, we are gonna be doing some grinding. I'm gonna be doing some grinding off screen. Uh, we are gonna not risk. I didn't want to go that way. I want to do this. We are going to heal just up a little bit more just to be safe. We'll take the precaution. And we that precaution worked out. And we're going to kick this Geodude's butt. I don't think it can two hit me. And it won't even hit me that time. So this one, I'm hoping this one will be the last shot it needs. Yep, right out. I like to switch to a Geodude. Or Jesus leveled up to level 11. Sparky will get to level 9, which is nice. Failure to defeat a leader block. Hmm. Usually has set off the sprinkler. No matter what. Let's finish this match. Probably got $384 for winning. Ivan and Salona, brother were hired to raise it. You big bully. Stop it. All of you. This is an official match, and we're going to finish it no matter what. Let the match commence. You immediately battle him. It's like... I don't know how this is gonna work. But Bird Jesus will, survive, will prevail. If Bird Jesus can survive the first hit, and Santa Tech at least once, that would've been nice. I'm kinda wondering how effective Thund Thundershock is going to be with the rain going on, is it's gonna be a lot more effective. Now, he did actually choose not a defensive move, which was good. It's allowed me to do that. I'm not gonna bother using Growl or Tail Whip. Actually, Growl would probably be the best thing to do, but we're gonna just go with the Thunder Shot and see how much damage it does. Yeah, that's what I kinda of thought would happen. Even if I would heal, that would be a waste. 
I think I'm gonna have to just train out my Pikachu and we do this battle in a shorter time. Yay, the attack actually missed. The best thing right now that could happen would be if he would get paralyzed or just continue missing. Did not end up happening, he just got rocked through. So, then. So, we're gonna go with Bugsy and we're gonna lose because I pretty positive Bugsy cannot win. But that is okay. But we are going to tackle. We're not going to do very much damage. If it gets one rock through in, we're going to be good. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. So, I shall be back once I do some training and get that Pikachu up all the way. Alright, we are back at this. We're going to make one last attempt before we go. And I did do some grinding. I got my Pikachu up to level 14. And I believe we can do it this time. So... I do believe the leveling up a little bit higher. That's why I should have done in the first place. I, now I do want to make sure that I level up. I'm probably going to do some grinding, especially off screen before we do the next episode, and get us to level 20. I want to get him by about to level 20 before we get to Misty, if not more. And I'm like I said, I am going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to do one quick round and see how it is, and maybe doing one after one. And that's what we're gonna do. And I know this video might be a little long. Well, that actually did not do enough damage. We're gonna quickly just go through that. We're just gonna finish it out. We should be good. I think we can still survive. If I have to, I can quickly heal Pikachu by simply switching out. And that's what we can do. Hmm. This has been said. No matter, let's finish the match. Leave Onyx alone. A brother worked hard to raise it, you big bully. Well, since we actually went and said that the first time, we're not going to repeat it twice. We don't need to. I think doing it once for the first time, if we lose it and we have to do it again, not doing it again a second time, we'll be fine. Go Sparky. Sparky will do the job. I especially think we will be fine as long as we don't get screeched the first time. Gonna rock, so we're going to see how much damage that ends up doing. Not enough. It only does nine, which would be good. We can heal out as long as it doesn't crit. It's hoping, right? Because I kind of didn't train my other Pokemon, so that was lucky because I didn't. Ch I don't. Didn't know how well Tackle did, but Tackle didn't paralyze him, which was a little interesting. But you know, Fine barely not gonna do it too much, but it did paralyze him, which actually helped me a little bit more. I mean, we'll continue to fall. I believe we're gonna have this match. But I am gonna take some damage every turn, which makes this a little bit of annoyance, but we should be okay. Especially if he mi ends up missing, but we're gonna be taking that seven plus that extra two damage, which is okay. I do will heal one more time just as a precaution to him not hit, hit going hitting through and it does not heal all the way. Let me phrase it. If it didn't hit all the way, it would be more dangerous to me not to heal. Okay. Even oh well, and like I said, we will find out right now if that one hit would have been enough. Or if it will be uh, it would have actually been enough. But I was not sure. I wanted to play a little bit more on the safe side. And we defeated Brock. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of victory, I confer on you this the official Pokemon League Bullet. So I will receive the Bullet Badge from Brock. Like I said, this is going to be the most interesting part. Cause I think, actually, I think Ash Misty really mostly follows you off at this point. Well, Spyro has received $14 for winning, which is always nice to me that can get the money. But I take this with you. Spyro received Team 39 from Bra. Time Machine contains. It just. Well. It is rock down. We all, we all know that. You beat me in battle and being and in being kind to all your Pokemon. Tell you the truth, I get more pleasure from raising Pokemon than making them battle. I don't care about being a great Pokemon trainer. I want to become the world's best breeder. But I can't leave here because I have to look after my brothers and sisters. Oh, I want you to take the bullet bed and fulfill my dream. Fuck. 
You go follow your dream, own dreams, my father. I couldn't become the great Pokemon trainer I wanted, and to become and be to, and because I was such a failure, I was too ashamed to go back to my family. But it's time to start. I started taking care of my family. Fuck, you go and fulfill your dreams and mine. Then it's time I started my journey. Become the world's greatest breeder. Thank you for everything, Spyro. I decided to watch over my children from now on and let Brock pursue his dreams. But I get so I guess that is a little bit of a difference. You don't have any followers, which would have been kind of cool, but it's life. It's what it is. But this is the end of the episode. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more content. And another episode will be out tomorrow.